Yo, welcome back from that break. And now to my next conversation is with Mr. Nweke Fain Emmanuel. He is a personality with a first class in social work. As we promised to bring him back this week to discuss about his area of specialization and also how he intends to make an impact to the society. You're welcome to the studio, sir. Thank you, man. Thanks for having me. It's good to have you back. It's my pleasure, man. So uh, we're going to look at your area of specialization. So what are the different compositions of your discipline? Yeah, social work as a discipline actually encompasses different facets. Okay. So after the first degree, after the bachelor's degree, talk of the master's. Okay. That's the area of specialization. Okay. So they will have the, the study for the agent, that is the methodology. Mm. Have children and youths. Okay. We have social work with family. Mm. We have those areas in public health. Okay. So many other areas. Okay. And persons with disability as well. Okay. So uh, is there any particular area you want to really specialize on? Uh, I'm actually enthused in working with persons with disability okay. because I am visually impaired. Yes. Do I'm visual, I'm vision oriented. Mm. So think I can make a lasting impact to persons with a disability. Okay. So uh, does this uh, area you want to really specialize in has uh, additional training of for course. you to acquire that uh, uh, knowledge? Yes, thank you. Of course it does. Okay. Uh, what kind of, uh, what sort of uh, training does it require? Uh, it's actually around one actually advancing both theory wise and practical wise, integrating theory to practice. So, okay. in this aspect of specialization, now here we talk of MSW, the Master in Social Work. Though in Nigeria here, we do MSc, okay. but in the Western world, it's MSW. Then, well, why is it MSW? MSW. So, in MSW is practice oriented. Okay. Though in Nigeria here, we integrate theory. To practice in terms of field work. Okay. So, so um, it means you have to go to a particular place to carry out your, you know, like an assignment. You need to go out to the field to do it. Excellent. Okay. So, um, apart from the MSc, what else do you think, um, or what else can you tell us that is required for you in your trainings? Apart from you going to the classroom, you going outside, you understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah. No, you know, basically, if one wants... Since we don't really have social workers here in Nigeria, okay. so what else can you, where else can you do your trainings here in Nigeria? Yeah, well, well, some universities in Nigeria here offer social work. Okay. Yes, like my university, University of Nigeria, Soka. Yeah. Yeah, Uniben. Think Unica, Unica, Unilag. Okay. There's some schools that offer social work here, so even to PhD level. Okay. Yeah. So, but since in Nigeria, social work is not being licensed or practice, mm -hmm. just like the medical doctors have been licensed or practice. So, any form of misconduct, your license can be withdrawn from you. Okay. So, you notice that in some agencies, the likes of sociology and the uh, and cancer have taken the place of social, of social work. workers. Okay, okay, okay. So it's actually the same field. Yeah, so we specialize in social sociology and guidance and counseling. Well, outside the country, we're talking about social workers. Social workers. Yes. Wow. Okay. So, um, you how do you uh, you know how are you practicing at the moment? Are you working with an organization or? You're working for yourself. Okay. Basically, uh, I volunteer and I intend with some organization to actually get this, to actually realize my ambition of touching lives. Okay. So uh, I volunteer with a non-governmental organization that into cancer awareness. Okay. So which I'm actually a psychology team lead right. of that organization for your pink blue. So we actually read that pre-cancer. So those actually going for cancer screening. Okay. So then to so cancel them prior to that aspect because some person are actually informed. 
Because cancer is not a death sentence. Yeah. But actually kind of intimating them, informing them that prior knowledge, that prior enlightenment. Mm. Early detection. Exactly. So, so, and I as well work with mommy and children's home. Okay. So, as soon as working with children, actually it requires patience. Okay. It does require understanding. Yeah. I take the social worker who understands the integrity part of this care. So you can able to coordinate the caregivers in doing this work efficiently and effectively for the well-being of these children. Because to translate to the wider society, whatever they would be. So this case you're talking about, are they kids with disability or they are not? There are different organizations like uh, Special Special Education Center in uh, in Nugoji. I still can't say them. Okay. So there are some of them are challenged, some are not challenged. Okay. Yes. So um, talking about coming back to you doing your masters, do you intend to do it here or do you intend to do it outside Nigeria? Yeah, I've I'm desired and I'm working towards doing my masters outside the of this nation. Okay. If the opportunity comes, okay. I will take it. I would gladly appreciate it if it comes my way. Okay. okay. So uh, in what area do you think um, people should support or partner with you? Okay. So basically, uh, I went to school through scholarship. Okay, that's in Suka. That's in Suka, yes. Okay. I went to school through scholarship. Okay. And I'm actually, I've been looking forward for a scholarship to advance my studies, mm. my master's program. And people invite me for different programs, like Stripoli Foundation. Okay. They invite me for, to come and talk to youth. So some churches invite me, some faith-based organizations, to speak to youth, address them using self-disclosure techniques. So if it might say self-disclosure techniques, okay. what are you talking about? So self School that actually entails me as a person with disability. Okay. If I could go through the hurdles of four hours of the university, mm. being able to make first class. Yeah. Now even that person out there can do it. Mm. So I speak to youth, I speak to children, educating them, actually enlightening them. Now basically, if we talk of a uh, thing big by Ben Carson, he would say, if I can do it, you, you can, can do, do it. it. More. Yeah. So it's all about the Socrates saying, Man know thyself. So it's all about we knowing ourselves. So I tend to motivate and serve as a public speaker. Uh, By inspiring the youth inspiring out there. Out there. So people can actually reach out to me for their programs, speaking to youth, speaking to children. Uh is it uh, does it uh, does it require payment or you know you're just doing it out of the goodness of your heart? Yeah, I don't have volunteer services and those who are touched to be. Since I'm not, I'm not engaged, okay. they could as well encourage me to. So I wouldn't be on the streets begging. Yes. So I'm looking forward to working with an international organization like United Nations. Okay. Uh, so I would make my impact. They have been designing policies and programs that can affect people from their roots. Because it takes one who actually goes through this hurdle. Like as I am, I wasn't born this way. Yes. So I could relate when the sun rises Ooh. and when it sunsets. So I know what it means to live in the tragedy yes. of one not being seen, not seen with physical eyes. So I find uh, your final words to people out there and to tell them that, uh, you know, they can also do what you're doing. Yeah, thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's possible. The choice, the decisions we take is actually as a reflection of our belief system. James Clare will tell you, you fall at the, at the level of the process, not the outcome. So the work you put in does matter. It still boils down towards being yourself, realizing whom you are, working towards your core, and you'll get it. Oh. And not leaving the almighty to crown one's efforts and success. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for coming on the program. It's my pleasure, ma'am. And I uh, wish you success all the way. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. Bye. Wow. We've been talking with Mr. Nweke Fine Emmanuel, and, um, you know, he said 
you can do it. You should know your goals and then uh, also put, uh, go after your goals because it's not easy, but then it's doable. So we're going to short break. By the time we come back, we have a report on UNDA International Day for Victims of Enforced Disappearance.